So first off, Happy New Year everyone, and if you are new to the channel, my name is Eric, welcome to Staggered Horizons, and thank you for clicking today's video. So we will be talking about whether making a New Year's resolution is a good or a bad thing, and then at the end of this video, I will be sharing with you one of my goals for 2018. So there's just something about that January 1st date, or the flip of a calendar year, that just brings something out in most of us to make a change for the better. Now I am pretty bittersweet on this whole New Year's resolution thing, and I will get into that very shortly. But what this flip of a calendar year does is create a sense of a fresh start. There's a change for opportunity. You taking the time to reflect upon yourself, self-discovery, and much more. However, New Year's resolutions have greater than a 90% failure rate. That means that less than one out of 10 people will actually stick with their New Year's resolution and make a change. That is huge. Now, I'm not here to discourage you or say, hey, you're up against the odds, it's not really gonna work out. Who am I? I'm not here to tell you that, nor am I here to be a negative Nancy. That's just not the type of person that I am whatsoever. So some of the most common New Year's resolutions here would be to start eating healthier, you wanna lose weight, get more physically fit, you wanna better yourself both physically, mentally, emotionally, you wanna become more financially stable. All of these are some of the most common New Year's resolutions here with with many, many more. Making a resolution requires zero effort whatsoever than actually doing it and making the change. This resolution is most likely something that you've already failed at or continue to fail at, and putting a date on something is not going to resolve that issue whatsoever. Oh, I'm gonna to get to that this weekend, or maybe next week I'll start doing this, or uh, I'll do that next month. No, that's not gonna work, it's not gonna change. I can almost guarantee you that you're not gonna be able to change putting dates on things or pushing them down the road, pushing them down the road. It just doesn't work and it's not gonna happen. It is human nature and evolution that we do things that give us a short-term pleasure even at the expense of a long-term harm. And what I mean by that is let's say you're trying to be more healthy, go to the gym, work out, and it's that ice cream that you wanna have. That's your short-term pleasure that you're risking for your long-term goal that's actually gonna harm you. I'm not saying if you're going to try to be healthy, go to the gym, work out, that you can never eat ice cream because you need to have some rewards in your system and then you, you also need to treat yourself here and there. I'm not saying don't ever have an ice cream if you're trying to lose weight or, or work out or this or that. That's not, that's not what I'm trying to get at here. But we look at things so short term to get us that pleasure that anything long term out or things that need to build us to get long term out are just not even in the, in the books or the cards for us. Things take time, hard work, and much effort in which most people are blinded by when they look at somebody who's successful or has achieved something that they have not yet achieved. And a lot of people don't see behind the curtain of what that person did and put into themselves, put into their business, or whatever they did to become successful how they are today. And people just put themselves into something very quickly looking for that short-term pleasure or that short-term quick to fame and that doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen like that. And people just give up so quickly because they just think, oh, I'm not, I'm not what I want it to be yet. Well, you probably didn't put in enough work to get there. And I'm not gonna go in and say, hey, it was an unrealistic goal, but you probably didn't work hard enough to get where you want it to be, or you compared yourself to somebody, which is the most harm that you can actually do, and saw that, hey, I'm not where this person is right now, so hey, I'm gonna give up and I'm gonna go try something else. Have fun if you're gonna go that way, because it's, it's not gonna work. You're gonna be bouncing from thing to thing, and, and it's never gonna work out. So, things take time. Working out is a perfect example. You can't go into the gym and expect yourself in three weeks to a month to rack on either like 12 pounds of muscle if you're looking to bulk up or build, or to lose like 20, 30 pounds in a month. Number one, that's not healthy. Number two, it's not just gonna happen like that. You have to put time, hard work, and effort into that. My apologies as it was getting pretty dark outside and it was about six degrees. So I decided to come back inside to finish out the video. Now Gary V says this perfectly, to make a resolution every day of your life as you only get one at bat. Now the people who are going to put in that work, who are going to grind, who are going to push for change, they will do that regardless of a date. And the people who won't, simply won't. Now when you actually decide to make a change is when you're actually going to stick to it and make that change. 
Now, my goal for 2018 is, I'm not gonna say for YouTube, 10 to 20,000 subscribers. I'm not gonna put a number on that whatsoever. But essentially, I wanna create a community where we all motivate and inspire one another and also have a hell of a fun time with cars. Now, I will be putting out very shortly a Motivational Monday series. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please feel free to share what your goals are for 2018 down in the comment section below. Thank you guys again for watching this video. If you're stopping by for the first time, please hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, please slap that like button. I hope you all have a fantastic day and I will see you next time. Take care. <laughs>